So there are four major components of this course. There are six reflective pieces that you'll write over the course of this semester. You will put those in one portfolio in WordPress. There are 13 weekly check-ins, one for each week, and two interviews that you'll do with me. I'm gonna have you watch some videos each week. These are pretty short, about two to three minutes each on YouTube. They usually contain curated information about the course and topics such as web design and UX research, uh, web writing, and issues related to accessibility. You should feel free to watch these videos on double speed if you'd like to do that. And do know that there is full closed captioning and a transcript available for each of these. You'll be asked to complete some exercises on your own time almost every week. There's nine exercises in total. Usually these exercises involve some sort of activity that's kind of related to brainstorming or it's analytical or has some creative element. These exercises are intended to expose you to UX research and to help you produce stronger reflections when you go to write them. You'll submit the results of your exercises through our weekly check-ins. These are a Google form where I'll ask you a couple questions about the videos that you watched, and sometimes I'll ask you to apply some course material or tell me more about yourself, and then you'll submit your exercise results. Here's an example of a weekly check-in. You'll see it is a Google form, and you'll have to make sure that you're in your Wesleyan account before you submit it. You'll be asked just a few questions and sometimes be asked for feedback about your experience. And then you'll be asked to submit your exercise results at the bottom. Very often that's just a photo of the work that you did. Remember that the material that you submit through your check-in is something I sometimes will introduce into our class discussions on Zoom or on Campus Wire. Campus Wire is how we are going to stay in touch as a class. It's a place where I can post things that you respond to, but you can also post as well and get a response from me or from other people in the class. There are chat rooms and you can also direct message people. Your six reflections will be written in response to some directed prompts at the beginning of the semester, and then you'll have more freedom later in the semester. I have a whole other video where I tell you a little bit more about these reflections. The important thing to know is that you should submit them through our Google Drive. Here is what that Google Drive will look like. Instead of student one, two, and three, you will see folders with students' names on them, including your own. And if you go into any one of these folders, you will find two folders right now, one where I will drop the recording from our interviews, and the other where you will have different Google Docs set up for each of your reflections. Every time you go to write a reflection, just click on that Google Doc, fill out this header here, and start your story. As noted earlier, over the semester, I will interview you twice on Zoom. The first interview, I'll ask a lot about your college experience. And in the second interview, I'll ask you a little bit more about this semester and help you check in and see where you are with your portfolio in WordPress. Do not be overwhelmed by all these different aspects of this course. What I've done to help you is create a checklist that's divided into three sections. Items you need to review, like those videos, items you need to do, like those exercises and those check-ins, and ways to connect with the class. As long as you follow the checklist, you'll be fine. You'll be in great shape for this course. Here's an example of what the checklist looks like in our WordPress course website. You'll know exactly when everything is due. You'll have a sense of what the intent of the week is. And then you'll have your reviews, your dues, and your connects. Each of these hyperlinks you to the exact materials you need to complete the task. I have also recreated this checklist in a Google Sheet that you can download and use, but only if you want to. This sheet allows you to check things off as you get them accomplished, and it gives you a sense of how you're progressing through that week. 